What is up YouTube? My name is James Huntley and today I want to talk about some test hacks and some things that you should know about the civil FE exam before you take it or if you've taken it. I did pass this test about a year ago and it gave me some trouble. I am a civil engineer and I graduated from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte and I want you to pass this test on the first try. So I figured I'd share some things that most people don't talk about. So let's go ahead and get into it. I may not be the typical engineer, but I went into taking the test the first time that I took the FE just to see if I would do well on it. And I kind of took it for shits and giggles, as I would say. So I know for a fact that this is a horrible, horrible idea. When you are looking to take this test, hopefully you are serious about taking the test and you want to pass the first time and you're determined to pass the first time. Um, the test costs about $175. So if this is your first time, don't even take it if you do not think you are ready. You need to have a few things that you do before you take the test but it's important that you don't waste your time, which is about five hours of your time and $175 and then plus whatever study materials that you are using. The next thing that you need to know is that the NCEES gives a practice exam to those who are looking to take this test, but I want you to be aware that the exam that they give, well, at least for the civil uh, discipline, it is a lot easier than the actual test. So it's crazy because when I took it the first time, I got the practice exam book, I went through the problems, seemed like I was doing well on it, the problems didn't seem too tough, and then I got into the at the actual exam and I got in there, it was like, oh shit, like this is more than what I expected. So you definitely don't want to use uh, that test only as your guide. You want to have a bunch of different practice problems that you try. And the way that I know in school, sometimes the way a professor would teach, they would basically outline exactly how they're going to test you. And then they may switch a few numbers and you pretty much, if you understand similar kind of concepts and you remember how to solve that practice problem, then you're good on the test. Well, for the actual FE exam, this is not the case. You may see something that has not been in a practice exam and you have to use your engineering skills to be able to solve those problems. Another thing is that if you are a student who use Chegg like crazy, this is not going to be your friend. Um, I was a somewhat of a lazy student, maybe not even lazy. I just got overwhelmed with a lot of the material uh, in the engineering department. And being that the assignments were coming, 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 I would use Chegg as an outlet to be able to get my assignments done and to just get through the program so that I could ultimately get my degree, right? And I know a lot of students who did this and it was all shits and giggles um, throughout the four years, but then once you get out and you're being tested on some of these concepts, you have to, I ultimately had to go back and actually learn the concepts. Uh, so Chegg is not gonna be your friend. So if you're currently uh, at the end of uh, you know your four years or you're in your third year and you're thinking about taking it, just take the courses seriously. Um, also, if you have like a course where uh, they walk you through and it's like a FE prep a course, take that course serious. Your, your professor should be giving you sample problems, problems that are probably gonna be tougher than the actual exam. So definitely be taking 
uh, that series. The next thing that I feel that anyone taking the FE should do is to create a test schedule uh, before you actually go in and sit for that exam. What I mean by this is, is to come up with some dates where um, you set to study different areas like mathematics, statistics, um, economics, or whatever it may be, whatever subject it is. Uh, set out the schedule so that you're able to get to all of the subjects um, in time and then you're able to set some time for actually doing a whole test in one sitting and then another test in one sitting and then when you actually go in for the actual uh, FE exam you are ready to go. So I will make a video and I'm gonna uh, put, you'll be able to click on it um, where I'll explain some things that you definitely need to incorporate in your uh, study schedule before you take FE. So this is very, very important. If you're finding value out of this video, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel as I do make more content on helping you all grow and reach your goals in engineering and even outside of that. So I do appreciate you all support and let's get into the next thing. When you are getting ready for your FE exam, it's very important that FE is on your mind. The problems, the practice problems, practice, 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 practice. It should be basically embedded in your brain for uh, those three months or how many ever months you take to study. If you're struggling with getting focused um, and actually taking out some time to study for this exam, I know it can be tough because one, if you're in school, you already have assignments and you're probably pretty busy with all the things going on with school. Or if you have graduated and you are now starting to work full time, you have to worry about your assignments at work, uh, staying busy, spending time with family, and trying to balance everything out. So um, if you are struggling with this, um, there are some other YouTubers that are really, really good um, and laser focused in on helping you to really uh, get in those practice problems. Um, there's this a YouTuber named Gregory McNilson. Um, he does a ton of sample practice problems. Um, I guess I can leave his YouTube channel in the description box as well as um, pass the FE exam. Like he has more videos on some things and tricks that you can do uh, to um, pretty much ensure that you pass. Um, and there's this um, young lady, uh, she goes by, I think, Jean, her name is Engineer, um, and she is excellent. When I tell you I watched her videos and uh, her practice problems, they really helped me to kind of see, okay, uh, people around me are really ensuring that I can pass, and you have so many different resources at your fingertips to ensure that you pass. Now, I did get a lot of good feedback about the last video I posted about the FE, taking it three times and what that looked like. Um, and so I even thought about doing some practice problems uh, for people who just need it, kind of need things explained in basic, basic terms and not so technical and boring. Um, so if you would like me to do that, uh, leave it in the comment section, um, some topics that you would uh, want me to go over and I will definitely look into it and if I get enough uh, interest I definitely will begin making some videos for you all to hopefully help you out if you found this video to be helpful make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel I will be making some more videos on some of the study habits that you need to have uh, your schedule um, and just some extra test taking uh, tips that I think will really help you all pass this thing. Very important that you get the win. Uh, this test was one of the hardest tests um, to me to actually overcome. Never failed a course, uh, but 
the test, I definitely failed. So I definitely want to help you all um, grow and get to where you want to be. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to hit me up on any of my social media platforms at double underscore coach James. Um, feel free to reach out. I will respond. Hit me up on LinkedIn as well. Um, I'll have all of the links to all of my social media uh, down in the description box. Um, so appreciate you guys for watching this video and check out some of the other content and I will see you in the next one. Peace.